I'm Dr. Beaker. Oh, you again. Oh, I've come to talk to you about herpes. Am I in the right room? Yes? Oh, okay, well, hello again. I'm Dr. Beaker. Um, there are two types of herpes. Uh, it is a virally sexually transmitted infection caused by the herpes simplex virus. There is HSV1 and HSV2. HSV1 is normally the uh, virus that gives you the cold sores, and HSV2 uh, usually gives you herpes around the genital area and rectum. It is most common and is also most prevalent in women. You must know that herpes are transmitted through skin contact with an open lesion, vaginal, anal or oral sex with someone who is infected with this virus. The virus is most easily spread through open sores, but you can get it from skin that doesn't have an open sore. Please remember this. It can be transmitted from mother to baby at delivery if the mother has symptoms or blisters at the time of delivery. Uh, type 2 mainly has no symptoms, but if symptoms do arise, uh, it usually takes about two weeks to show after the virus is transmitted. This will show as painful, painful blisters around the genital area or the rectum. Blisters can vary from just one or two to a whole cluster of dozens. Uh, you may have flu-like symptoms, pain when urinating, painful enlarged glands in the groin or swollen glands. Some will have the virus but no outbreak for years. Uh, if a first outbreak is diagnosed, you can expect to ha have up to 12 or more outbreaks within the first year and then they will decrease with time. A swab test is done by pressing a swab against any of the blisters or sores. You will need viral medications, uh, not antibiotics, as it is not bacterial. Uh, as it is viral, there is no cure, and unfortunately, once you have this virus, you will have it for life. It may lie dormant, it may not. Aspirin or paracetamol may help with the pain of the blisters. Uh, and bathing once a day, oh, not yet, dear, not yet, dear. <laughs> Bathing once a day in salty water and drying appropriately may also help the blisters. Okay. Go. <laughs> Someone can still pass on the virus with no symptoms. You will get painful genital sores. These blisters will eventually burst, leaving tender, open wounds that will take about two to four weeks to heal. They can be itchy, so please remember this. Uh, just to let you know that the virus does create more psychological distress than physiological, but it's okay, you're not alone. This is a life-threatening uh, disease for unborn babies and will require a caesarean section to deliver if herpes are active at the time of birth. Thank you. See you next time.